as Tom had mentioned, you know, Pluribus has um, participated in Network Field Day. It's been quite, quite some time since we had the opportunity to highlight our products and what we're doing from a technology perspective. So we, what we wanted to do today really is to set a foundation of what Pluribus is doing, how our technology's evolved, and then looking forward to the September event, be able to go into a much deeper dive, right? We have an hour um, to be able to talk about things. We want to get through uh, really the key areas of what we're doing from a technology perspective. So for those of you that don't know Pluribus, I'll spend a few minutes, give you an overview from a technology perspective, uh, but, but really kind of catch you up on what Pluribus is doing, what we're about. We'll go through the operating system software, what we call NetVisor, and our adaptive cloud fabric, and then look at our analytics capabilities that we've built into that environment. And then we'll go a bit deeper from a technology perspective. And since we're here at VMworld, what we really want to do on the technology or the technical deep dive section is to focus on what we're doing around VMware and the integrations that we're doing with VMware around vCenter, around NSX, and vSAN environments. So with, with that, give you a little bit of an overview of Pluribus, not going to spend a lot of deep time here going through the company and we were founded in this window or that window, just to give you a snapshot of what we've been doing in the evolution of the company. Pluribus was founded in 2010. The, the vision that the founders had when they built this company was they saw a gap in the market. The market think back seven years ago, we didn't have NFV, we didn't have a lot of the things that we have today, such as hyperconvergence. They saw the need for bringing together the compute, the storage, and the networking technology into a single platform. And they set out to build that converged platform that really was fundamentally ahead of its time. But from a technology perspective, to be able to enable that, that platform to work, they were able to create an operating system that really has become the foundation of what we're delivering today in really revolutionizing how you do software-defined networking and how you build the next generation modern network. So as the company was building this technology, in, in 2012, TIBCO, which it builds an enterprise uh, messaging middleware platform, actually standardized on and is using the Pluribus fabric and the NetVisor operating system to run this messaging platform that's deployed in very large scale enterprise environments. So that was a great initial start, right? The company's history really comes from these, these OEM relationships that not only allowed us to build the technology and get traction in the market in a much faster way than doing it at a commercial level, it actually allowed you to harden the product in a very, very fast time frame because they're dependent upon that technology to run the environment and, and the availability, the resiliency, the scale and performance are critical factors. As we saw success with that and the product started evolving, we started delivering on a commercial basis our NetVisor software, which I'll go through and give you some insight on in what that technology is in 2013. And again, TIBCO was a key part of driving that technology evolution in the foundation. 2014, we were selected by Ericsson in another OEM relationship to be the basis of their HDS 8000 cloud platform. This is used in the service provider carrier market, typically deployed in the packet core. It's a number of significant carrier environments, and I'll talk about some of the customer deployments. But that gave us the experience of sitting in very high performance carrier environments, billions of transactions an hour, much different kind of environment than the enterprise. Again, we saw that from a business perspective is a great way to, to, to grow the business, but it also really strengthened the platform, hardened that platform, and we spent those years really building a technology that met those needs, which really allowed us to build something that starts to focus on the commercial market, the general enterprise, the general service provider market. In 2015, we started to do uh, the, the commercial engagements and deployed several um, large-scale enterprise environments on a direct basis. And then um, shortly after that, in 2016, Dell, at the time they were Dell, selected uh, Pluribus Networks as one of their open networking software platforms providing not only the networking functionality, and we'll go through the operating system, but providing the fabric capability and supporting things like data center interconnect. And so what we've been focused on since then is really building the commercial presence. We've got strong presence on the OEM side, and that continues to, to drive 
uh, the, the product hardening and the development, but more importantly, getting more and more focus on meeting the needs and delivering the requirements for commercial. We're focused on both enterprise and service provider environments, and they are different in, in the, the kinds of applications and things that they need, but at an operating level, we're talking about the same product and same technology. And I think you'll see as we walk through the basis of the architecture how that gets used in, in both of those environments. So I say then we'll, we'll drill down and we'll go into and look at it specifically in a VMware environment. Just a quick highlight to give you a sense of the deployments and, and, and uh, customers that are using the technology. This is a mix. This is a mix of deployments that are being uh, run through TIBCO, through the Ericsson relationship, as well as direct. But you see some very large scale enterprise and service provider organizations. On the service provider side, companies like Telefonica, Telstra, SK Telecom, Swisscom are public names. There, there are many others um, that are deployed. And same thing on the enterprise side. Just one last point on the company, just so you understand the, the breadth. Again, we have a, a, a very large install base, 100 production large-scale deployments. And we have a substantial support base to be able to support those environments. Again, whether it's direct or through the OEM relationship. So a key part about this, especially as being an earlier stage company, is can the company deliver and support what's being deployed? And we have a follow the sun 24 by seven support model with people across the globe to be able to support these, uh, th these deployments in these environments. And, and we continue to see really good feedback and ratings on the, the level of support we're providing and, and, and are able to maintain a good net prom promoter score. 